Holy cow, you guys. Something already picked it up. No way. All right, guys, here we go. There we go, fish on. What's going on, everybody? Nick from 618 Fishing here, and welcome back to another fishing adventure. No worries, all my nickels and dimes, all my nine to five grind. I gotta get loose sometimes. I'm excited for today's episode because I'm heading to one of my favorite fishing spots in search of some big spillway monsters, but I'm also nervous because we have gotten a ton of rain recently and it's actually currently raining right now at this moment. So I don't know what this spillway is going to look like, but there's only one way to find out. Good news, I just made it out to the spillway and the water is nowhere near as flooded as I was expecting. I just made it down to my fishing spot and I came across something very disgusting. Somebody was down here fishing and they were catching bowfin, some really nice sized bowfin, cutting their heads off and tossing them on the bank. I don't know why anyone would do that. Some people get bowfin confused with snakehead, but bowfin are actually a native species to this waterway. They've been in here for hundreds of millions of years. Both of these bowfin were a really nice size, at least five pounds. I could see catching and keeping them for food, but just catching them, cutting their heads off and tossing them on the bank, so stupid. Anyways, on that note, let's, uh, let's start fishing. For bait, I brought a few different options. I brought some bluegill, some cut up Asian carp, some drum, and of course, some night crawlers. So I'll be trying a variety of things to see what the fish want. Oh. All right, fish on. Oh, it's a little bullhead. It's actually a pretty decent one. This guy's chubby. See you later, buddy. I've been fishing in the same location for a little over an hour and I have yet to catch anything sizable. So I think I'm gonna move a little bit closer to the spillway to hopefully locate where these big fish are hanging out. All right, this guy right here is perfect size to use for live bait. Check out the size of that bait. Whew. All right guys, we've got some positives and, uh, and some negatives. Positives, I'm catching fish, that is awesome. As far as the negatives, I have not caught any decent sized fish and it's started raining. All right, this is not working out. I needed to try to catch some sunfish. So far the bait that I've been using really has not attracted any sizable fish. The only thing I'm catching are little bullhead catfish. All right, there we go. What in the world did I just catch, you guys? Oh, it's a channel catfish. See you later, buddy. I think I'm actually going to move all of my stuff over to where I caught that bluegill and that channel catfish. It seems like there's a lot of fish activity going on right where that water is spilling into the creek. I feel like that's gonna be my best bet at catching a big fish. There's a nice fish. Nice fish. Nice fish. Nice fish. Holy cow. Please stay on. First nice fish of the day, guys. What is this? Oh my gosh. It's a giant bowfin. It's an absolute giant. This is one of the biggest ones I've ever hooked into, guys. All right, I don't have a net with me. 
my net's still over by my stuff. Oh, it's a big one. Holy cow. It's not done yet. Not done yet, not done yet. Yes! Finally, guys. Five pounds, 11 ounces. Awesome. Holy cow. See you later, buddy. Yes! I've been after a fish like that since I got out here. And I'll be honest with you guys, I actually fished this exact spot two days ago. I filmed for almost eight hours. I did not catch a single thing. So it feels so good to finally catch a decent sized bowfin. I still have my flathead catfish rod out there. So hopefully a big catfish picks that up, but I'm also going to try to catch another big bowfin, possibly even larger. There we go, fish on. Oh my gosh, what is this? Holy cow. He was hardly putting up any fight. This is actually a nice fish. He just woke up. Oh my gosh, he just woke up. Oh my gosh, this is a nice one. Holy cow. All right, please stay on. Yes, there we go. <laughs> oh, buddy. This one looks very similar in size to that first one I caught. Five pounds, 10 ounces. One ounce lighter than the first one. See you later, buddy. Fishing is finally starting to pick up. Let's get some more baits out there and see what else we can catch. Here we go. Nice fish, nice fish. I'm not sure what this is yet, but it is strong. Holy cow, it's a nice bowfin. Holy cow. All right, I need to get down there. All right. These fish are so strong. No, no, no. Not quite, not quite, not quite. Yes! Holy cow, you guys. Oh, it's a monster. Biggest one of the day by far. Oh my gosh. What an awesome fish. Seven pounds, 13 ounces. Wow, one of the biggest I've ever caught. Such a cool fish. Oh my gosh, you guys, there's another hook in this fish's mouth. Somebody lost this fish in the past. Check that out. Oh, see you later, buddy. That was incredible. By far, one of the biggest bowfin that I've ever caught. What a beast. Holy cow. Something giant just hit that rod. Something just screamed out drag on this rod. Holy cow. Big fish. Big, big fish. 
something totally screamed out a bunch of line. Okay. I cannot believe this. This bowfin was screaming out drag on this big rod. Gosh, these fish are such hard fighters. See you later, buddy. Oh, buddy, you guys, I just caught a green sunfish. This is pretty much a flathead catfish's favorite thing in the world to eat. So I'm gonna rig this up on my big rod and see if we can catch a monster catfish. Holy cow, you guys. I just cast that sunfish out there. Something already picked it up. No way. All right, guys, here we go. There we go, fish on. Oh, this is a big fish. Oh my gosh, it's a bow fin. What? I cast that sunfish out there. 15 seconds, a bow fin picked it up. Gotta land it. Oh man, holy cow, this dude is strong. Okay. Oh my gosh. There we go. Yes, <laughs> that sunfish wasn't out there for more than 15 seconds before this dude picked it up. Let's toss out this bullhead and see if we can catch a monster flathead catfish. Something just crushed this rod. I don't know if it's still on there. There's a bunch of slack line. Oh, no. Wait. Yes, it's still on there. Holy cow, strong fish. Oh my God, there we go. That's a nice one. Looks like probably the second biggest of the day. I don't think it's gonna beat that seven pounder, but let's find out. Just a hair under six pounds. See you later, buddy. Unfortunately, I was not able to catch that monster flathead in this episode, but let me tell you guys, I was out here two days ago, fished for eight hours and did not catch a single thing. So needless to say, I was a little nervous going in to this episode, but I ended up catching some really nice bowfin once I moved up next to the spillway. So I had a lot of fun today. If you guys enjoyed this episode, I'd really appreciate it. If you left a thumbs up, possibly think about subscribing. If you haven't, I will catch you guys on the next one. Well, I got stabbed through my jacket by that catfish. <laughs>